layman with scripture is better than the Pope. And you do not care whether a doctrine is Catholic or heretic as long as it suits you? Dr. Luther, this is too much. What you wish me to do, Father? Stop attacking Rome. Immediately. Permanently. But I'm not attacking Rome. I'm only trying to find the answer to certain questions. Who are you to question Rome? I order you to stop. Until I've cried out the truth, I cannot. You refuse. You disobey me. I must. Forgive me, Father. Forgive? Leave us. forgive you, Brother Martin. Instead, I release you of everything that ties your hand and binds your tongue from now on. I release you from obedience to your vows, the holy vows of the Augustinians. Lest you bring disgrace upon your order as you have brought dissension to your church you remain a priest, but you are no longer my monk. Oh, Martin, Martin, I see nothing ahead of you but the cross. God have mercy on your soul and on those who follow your preaching. Try as I may, I cannot. to keep silent has passed, and the time to speak has come. The nobility of our land must set itself against the Pope as a common enemy and destroyer. We have the name of empire, but the Pope is all that is ours. Let him give us back our liberty, honor, body, and soul. And let your holiness smile compared with this. Freedom from the tyranny of Rome. Every man his own priest before God. Now we shall do some writing. Draw up a condemnation of this man. We shall see how his faith stands up against the papal decree. Your Holiness, we've presumed to prepare a draft. Exerge Domine. Arise, O Lord, and judge thy cause. A wild boar invades thy vineyard. Arise, O Peter. Arise, O Paul. Arise, ye saints. Arise, thou church universal. We can no longer suffer this serpent to creep through the fields of the Lord. The books of Martin Luther containing his errors are to be sought out and burned by the Inquisitor. As for Martin Luther himself, dear God, what office of paternal love have we omitted to recall him from his error? Now, therefore... We give him 60 days to retract his writing. And failing such retraction, he shall stand under our anathema and excommunication. And be it hereby finally known that whatsoever person shall aid or help the said Martin Luther, that person shall be subject with him to our excommunication and anathema, and will stand together with him under the wrath of Almighty God and the Apostles Peter and Paul. Signed, Leo, and 
and sealed with the Pope's own seal. Sixty days. When are they up? Tomorrow. Wittenberg. The night of December 10th, 1520. Rome. Because you have destroyed the truth of God, let God destroy you in these flames. Christian freedom. If God wants to topple idols, he will strike them down himself. This is still a house of God. The Lord deliver me from my enemies and from my friends. Latin, I understand one thing. You want us to seize Luther and turn him over to you. That is our commission. His Holiness wants Dr. Luther in Rome. For trial? That will not be necessary. He's already been condemned in the Pope's decree. Right. Mm -hmm. What will you do then? Put him to torture? We need not go to such extremes. The mercy of His Holiness, Your Grace. Oh, yes. You know Erasmus of Rotterdam? All the world knows the learned Erasmus. Erasmus, have you read Martin Luther's writings? Some part, Your Grace. And what is your opinion? This monk should have his trial before judges of various universities. Nevertheless, he cannot win. He's in the wrong then, Master. In what point? In two, Aleander. One, he has attacked the crown of the Pope. And two, he has attacked the bellies of the monks. Both grave and unforgivable sins. Your Grace, I did not come from Rome to joke with scholars. In the name of the Holy Father, will you deliver this heretic? Noble Aleander, let us be reasonable. I have seen Martin Luther only once, and I am not familiar with his writings. Nor do I follow his preachings, as many of my loyal subjects do. But I know him as a man of strong convictions, learning, fear of God. Yet even if he were a common thief, I could not hand him to you to be dragged to Rome in chains. No, do not misunderstand. It is not Luther the man who is important. It is a principle that a man accused shall have a fair trial before his own countrymen. Luther is my subject, Aleander. And as he owes me loyalty, I owe him protection. I can do no less as a Christian and a prince. I suggest, therefore, that we bring this cause before the Diet and let it be decided in that Parliament what shall be done with Luther? In the spring of 1521, Luther made his journey to the city of Worms to appear before the Diet, the parliamentary assembly of the German states.
Lord of Austria, Burgundy, the Low Countries, Naples, and Spain. Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire and Defender of the Holy Church, His Catholic Majesty, Charles V. I summon him for a trial, yet he comes like a conqueror. Are you certain you haven't made a mistake? Your Majesty, how he enters is of no importance. How he answers is. We must give him no opportunity for speeches. Will Your Majesty approve our procedure of uh, interrogation? You have his books? Yes, Your Majesty. All of them. Martin Luther, his sacred and invincible majesty has cited you before his throne to answer certain questions. Two in number, and only two. The first question, do you admit these are your writings? Yes, they are mine. His imperial majesty's second question then is, Will you, Martin Luther, persist in what you have written? Or are you prepared to retract these writings and the beliefs they contain? Most gracious emperor, princes, lords, I came here prepared for debate, not for interrogation. Dr. Luther, reply to the question. Will you or will you not recant what you have written? I do not understand this procedure. Recant? Am I not to be heard? You have heard his majesty's question. He is waiting for your answer. My answer? You should not ask me to deny in one moment the work of many years. Dr. Luther? Therefore, most gracious majesty, I beg, give me time. Give me more time. His gracious majesty grants your request. You will return to this same place tomorrow. Prepare to answer. Thou hast entrusted my brothers, thy dear children. 